Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. You always do such a great job on the camera, and today we're going to have a lot of fun because we're going to go inside and outside to the Cajun Fryer where we're going to make deep fried corn on the cob. Come on over, let's get started. Okay, we got some corn on the cob. Now you could break these in half if you want, but I like to leave them whole, and we're going to roll these and some buttermilk first. And over here, we got Shotgun Red's catfish and crappie breading mix. And you can use anything you want. Any fish fry is good. Any flour seasoned up real good is good as well. But what we're gonna do is soak it in a little buttermilk and shake off as much excess buttermilk as we can. And then we're gonna tumble it in our fish breading. Then we're gonna let these Baby, sit over here for a little bit. Now, before we take these to the fryer, I already had one soaking in there. Before we take these out to the fryer, we're going to let them set for about five to ten minutes because the breading gets really thick then, kind of sticks on the corn a lot better. Sheila got me a little bowl of water because after you bread about six or eight of those things, your fingers got more fish breading on than the sweet corn. And here's the last one in the buttermilk, shake off the excess. I had to put a little bit more fresh fish breading in here because it was getting kind of gooped up there a little bit. And all right, well, doesn't that just look terrific? And I'm also going to hit this just a light dusting of Creole seasoning. Just have a little fun with it. Give them a half turn. if I can get all these guys to turn over for me there a little bit. Perfect. All right, there's a couple spots I might even give it a little more dusting of fish breading where it didn't get it quite as good as I wanted. And that looks terrific. I think we're ready to go to the fryer. Got them all seasoned up, ready to go outside. Now remember on cooking time, water boils at 212 degrees, as you know, but oil is 350 degrees. Now normally when you boil sweet corn, it takes about 10 minutes. So this is only going to take about 5 to 7 minutes or until golden brown on the outside and they're going to be done. Let's take them out to the fryer and get started. Got our sweet corn all seasoned up. We're rolling up on 350 degrees and I think these little guys are just dying to go for a swim in Lake Crisco. Let's drop them in there. Sheila and I have more fun with this deep fryer. Are you ready for some deep fried sweet corn? Yeah. Let's do it. There they go. We're going to check them in five minutes to see if they're a little golden brown. If they need another couple of minutes, we'll do that. But we'll see you in five minutes, you guys. She's my sweet corn baby. All right. Been five minutes. Oh man, does that look good or what? I'm almost tempted to just give it another minute or so. But doesn't that look nice and golden brown? It's really good. Gee whiz, that looks absolutely terrific. I'm gonna give it one more minute just to make sure the corn's done all the way. But the breading obviously is nice and crispy and golden brown, so that just looks wonderful. All right, well, I edited it out about a minute of you sitting there watching it deep fry, so you wouldn't have to do exactly that. Now, let me let that sit there for a second. Sheila, if you want to just turn the burner completely off over there on the tank. There you go, perfect. Great job. Let's see if we can... Oh, man, they just feel wonderful. Look at there. Look at there. And I bought two packs of four ears of corn each. I said fresh corn earlier, but you know me, I buy everything in the store, so it wasn't too fresh. Fresh frozen, let me put it that way. And I thawed it out completely. Look at that. And you can even see that sweet corn poking through right there. Golly, it looks terrific. How are we looking on camera? Can you see that, Sheila? It's really good. Colorful. Man, oh man looks wonderful let's take this upstairs and see what we accomplished 
All right, Sheila had me move it to right about there to make sure that the picture was right. Does that look good, Sheila? Perfect. All right, sounds good. Let's take it upstairs. Well, we're back from the Cajun fryer, and this sweet corn smells so delicious. Remember, we took it and gave it a little bath in that buttermilk, rolled it in that fish breading, then we let it set for about, oh, five or ten minutes. We also hit it a little lick with that Creole seasoning. Come on over here, let's take a bite and give it a sample. This stuff is so good. All right, I'm going to cheat a little bit here and see what this will do. I just knew that that fish breading would stick on there like that. Looky there. Excuse me, folks, I got to give this. There's the opposite side. I wanted you to see it. I got to give this a little sample. I got to give this a second sample. I got to make absolutely sure it's safe to eat. Deep fried corn on the cob in the Cajun fryer. And after several samples, I've come to the conclusion that this stuff is absolutely to die for. You've got to try it. We hope you enjoyed this recipe today. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, and we really hope you do, little Shotgun Red's face will pop up here in a little bit. You can click on that, and it'll show you where to subscribe. And by the way, once you subscribe and it gets a check mark, right next to it is a little bell. If you click on that, there'll be a drop-down box. If you highlight that little box and hit Save, they'll send you every recipe we come out with. That's how that works. Over on this side, we're going to show you another great recipe, maybe something else we deep fried, but this stuff is to die for. Is this the most delicious deep fried corn on the cob done in the Cajun fryer you ever ate? Boy, if it ain't, it ought to be. Sheila, did you enjoy this? I did. She had a little sample over here, too. It's outstanding. Great job on the camera, Sheila. Well, thank you. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye-bye for now. This stuff is outstanding.